Hi, I'm Cameron Weidenthal, joined by head volleyball coach beginning his fourth year, Tim Koth, taking time out of camp and getting ready for this season to, to spend some time with, with us and talk about the season. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Your, se- your team saw quite a bit of success last year, most wins since 99, back in the postseason since 2012, uh, receiving votes most of the season. What are you going to remember about last season, and, and what are you going to take from last season as you move to, to this season? Well, I think for me personally, there was a lot of positive things, and all of which you just mentioned in terms of firsts in quite a while for mm-hmm. Wayne State Volleyball. Um, but I think the biggest one is probably some of the, the bitter disappointment that the players had for where we were at midseason and after some injuries, how the season kind of finished. Yeah. Um, um, and then we've put a big spin on that, that we really want to see that move forward in a positive direction, using it as a motivational factor. And I think that's what we've done over the uh, course of the offseason. Solid group of returning uh, players. You got Haley Richardson, you got uh, Michelle Asedu, Ellie Rodriguez, Hannah Moore. Talk about what you expect from that group of uh, leaders returning. Well, you know, they're going to be the, f- the, the first complete cycle uh, recruiting class that that was here you know from start to finish mm-hmm. with me um, and uh, you know they've been through the whole process so as young players they were experienced to the elite level of division two volleyball when we went to Florida and played the defending national champion the eventual national champion uh, so they gained those experiences early in their career and now as as players in the last couple of years they've they've developed their abilities on the court to where our expectation is that they should have a clear understanding of A, what's expected, and B, what it takes for us to, to ultimately reach our goals this year. And you really saw, you don't want to correlate an injury to success on the court, but when Ellie went down, you kind of saw how important she was to the team. Yeah, I think what I think the evaluation there was not only her importance, but also uh, at the same time we had Haley Richardson go out for a while mm-hmm. too, and how how just a little bit of uh, of adjustment to to who you are can can impact you know things that are going on and I mean every team goes through adversities yep. we went through them and in the moment it wasn't fun but at this particular point in time I think it's nothing but a, a learning tool and a motivational factor for our team coming into this season. Staying kind of on the court and your personnel, the setting position. If if you're not a volleyball fan, perhaps most important position on the court, and we'll we'll need to replace the first team and. Uh, all Gliak performer and Brittany Golden. Talk about what you expect from that uh, position this year and how you see that uh, as maybe argue if it is the most important position on the Yeah, court. well, no question. People who aren't big volleyball fans and aren't aware of the sport, it really translates to the quarterback. You know, the, the, the volleyball setter is, yeah. is the quarterback of the team and, and runs the offense and, and really commands the what's happening a lot on the court. Uh, Brittany developed into a fantastic player for us. Um, but uh, we have two other players that are in the program that I think, um, and we saw this through the course of the spring season, are very, very capable. Um, you know, volleyball people who aren't at Wayne State are going to say that's going to be one of the things how Wayne State setting does yep. uh, could dictate what kind of a team they are. Um, and I feel like we're, we're going to be in pretty good shape. There's definitely some learning curve there, new roles. Um, but what we saw out of them uh, from the spring season was that they're very capable. They're mm-hmm. very capable as a position uh, and competitors together. Um, and they're both very driven. Uh, they both understand what the situation is. They understand that we should have a very, very good team mm-hmm. and that they are a big a big question mark and what that what that means and that they they've been working extremely hard both of them have been here all summer long training taking classes and uh, you know trying to add to their game uh, the schedule begins at home with the uh, annual warrior invitational it's the second year that we've done it consecutively after bringing it back after uh, a brief hiatus talk about what that does for the team and, and getting them off on the right foot well, I think any time you get an opportunity to start at home, that's, that's great. Uh, we're really excited about the field that's coming in this year. We feel like we have um, both regional uh, and national level com- competition coming yeah. in to the, to the event, um, which should help prepare us for where we need to get to. Um, you know, but one of the biggest things is that we're going to be coming out of preseason and able to not have to worry about traveling and getting ready to yeah. go on the road. Um, we're just preparing like it's a normal home week, um, which will be a, um, a benefit to us, I think, with this particular team 
uh, having a, a core of veteran players who have been here now for quite a while. Um, and they went through the tournament last year, and they understand about, you know, what it's like to have a home event like yeah. that. And um, so I think they'll be pretty prepared for that. I mean, obviously, we're very excited. 14 home matches this year, uh, which is a big number for volleyball yep. at the collegiate level in terms of home matches. Um, and uh, and a lot of regional uh, competition that we're looking forward to uh, hosting here. Yeah, Warrior Invitational, September 1st and 2nd inside the math I hear. Uh, five matches per day, a lot of great competition. It, it should be a good time. Um, last question. Expectations keep growing ever since since you arrived. Obviously, you came you came to Wayne State with with quite a resume, but now how do you manage the growing expectations at a program that's get kind of getting excited about volleyball and and kind of what are your goals for this season? Well, first hearing that is 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 fun. Just that you know expectations are bigger. People are outside or have more interest in yep. what's going on here with Wayne State volleyball. Uh, that means we're on the right track to what we want to do. But um, you know, so from the bigger picture, we're building and growing. And short of uh, winning a national championship every year, yeah. uh, you know, it's we're going to continue to build and, and work for those. But in terms of managing it, it's a daily thing. Uh, you know, we we know what uh, you know the the concept of expectations and um, you know the team just has to come in and work hard every day and that's kind of the way we we put it out there for them of course they're aware of of expectations but we also tell them it's just simple you just have to go out and you have to work hard every day at everything that you're doing um, and those outcome things will take care of themselves